All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is going to be the first of several videos I'll be doing to cover basic physics problems. These are the introductory problems that are basically just consisting of conversions. So for this particular conversion problem, we are given Antarctica. So Antarctica is roughly semicircular with a radius of about 2,000 kilometers. The average thickness of its ice cover is about 3,000 meters. So using that information, what we're going to find is how many cubic centimeters of ice does Antarctica have. So before we start up this problem here, I just want to point out that our radius is given in units of kilometers, 2,000 kilometers. But our thickness, on the other hand, is given in units of meters. Be careful reading that, because if you put those both in the same units of kilometers to start out with, you could easily have a um, problem down the road. So, our first step in solving this problem is going to be to convert both of those units into centimeters. So, we're going to do that by setting up a basic conversion table here. So, what we are given is that the radius is 2,000 kilometers. So 2,000 kilometers. So in order to convert that into centimeters, we're going to start by converting it into meters. So we know from basic conversions here that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, or we can write that as 10 to the third meters in one kilometer. We can then continue this down by saying that there are 100 centimeters in one meter, or 10 to the second centimeters in one meter. So we basically can allow the kilometers to cancel out, the meters will cancel out, and then we multiply the rest of this over to find that we have 2.0 times 10 to the eighth centimeters. That is our uh, length of the radius now in centimeters rather than kilometers. So next, the average thickness of its ice cover is about 3,000 meters. So we're going to convert that thickness of 3,000 meters into centimeters. So this will be a slightly short conversion. We know up here that there are 10 to the second centimeters in one meter. So we just multiply that, 10 to the second centimeters, one meter. The meters cancel out. We multiply this over and we find that there are 3.0 times 10 to the fifth centimeters. And that is how thick the ice cover is in centimeters. Now for our final step here. We need to find a formula to find the volume of our semicircular object here. Now, using this graph here, this diagram, we can say that, hey, this almost looks like a cylinder. It's just a semicircle instead of a full cylinder, or full circle, excuse me. So what we can do is use that information to morph up a formula here for our volume. So we know from geometry class that the volume of a cylinder is volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. Well, because we have a semicircle here instead of a full circle, we can say that volume equals only half of pi times the radius squared times the height. And that will be our formula for finding the volume of this object. So now we just simply plug in our numbers here. So our volume will equal one half of our value of pi times the radius that we found up here to be 2.0 times 10 to the eighth but we have to square that term here, the radius is squared. And we multiply that by the height, which we found to be 3.0 times 10 to the fifth. And when we multiply that out, we will find that our final volume will equal 1.88 times 10 to the 22nd centimeters cubed of ice. And that is our final answer.